Hi guys, this is Wirehead King, and uh, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a smoke simulation in Blender 2.57. Um, Alright, so let's start then. If we go into front view uh, by pressing number pad 1 and then make the cube a bit bigger, uh, what you don't want to do is make it way too big because then uh, when we when it comes to baking the smoke it will take forever and you know that's why you need to have this cube I'll explain it a bit more later um, so yeah okay if you're going to wireframe mode and just add a plane make that a bit smaller and then just leave that not you know right at the bottom because then what will happen is when you play the animation all the smoke will sort of sink to the bottom and start acting all strange so just leave it around there and um, uh, that's it really for the sort of setup one thing that you might want to do is if you right click on this cube uh, come over here to this square uh, well cube uh, thing, this panel uh, if you change the type from textured and change it to wire what will happen is when you're in uh, you know this is wireframe this is whatever you call not wireframe and the plane's still normal but the cube isn't this will happen anyway um, even if you don't bother to do that step but I find it useful uh, for now also with the plane you might want to just click wire and then when you go into front view you can see the plane um, so yeah that's just a few things there so that's on the plane with wire by the way okay so now that we've done that we can start setting up our smoke simulation so uh, we're going to click on the particles uh, settings create a new one when you press alt a you're going to see they keep sort of, sort of coming over the top and then dropping down with gravity so First of all, we need to get rid of gravity. That's the first thing. So come over to field weights here, and then change your gravity to zero. Now we start again. They're hovering up. Um, and that's fine, but smoke doesn't usually travel in such organization, if that's the right word for it. So we're going to increase the random a bit. So now if you just play the animation and increase it at the same time, that's fine. And also I'm going to increase the normal to 1.5. So hopefully yep that's looking all right um, okay so that's it for the particle system what we're going to do now is if we select our cube again come over to this thing here and choose smoke uh, changes to domain leave it how it is for now select our plane uh, smoke and then flow Co oh, I ran and made a noise then so if we press alt a um, you're going to see that we can see our particles and it's also if we just uh, pause this oh, no, hang on, by pressing Alt A again, uh, you can see that um, the particles have got some smoke with them. It was quite obvious, really. Um, but as I say, there's a domain here, and the reason for that is if it's you know in all of this, it has to calculate all of this space here. Uh, that's why you have to have. Ooh, hang on domain because uh, then it only has to calculate things within a certain boundary it's just trying to save your computer power really right so uh, we've got that now but what you might want to do is if you go to our particle uh, settings and change uh, or untick emitter because that means that our plane will be invisible and if we tick none then that means that uh, there will be no um, particles in the way uh, when we're trying to render this okay um, so as I say it's colliding with the top so what you might want to do is if you select the cube uh, select the panel thing and click on dissolve what happen is as soon as the particles die which basically means they disappear um, the smoke sort of low resolution but you can sort of see it sort of fading away now on that low resolution topic if you increase the divisions to something like 50 we start playing it again um, you know it still looks quite rubbish down there but when it sort of spreads out a bit it 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 what was it it's three times then it does uh, look better mm. I'm beginning to doubt that already um, but yeah you might want to keep the divisions for you at 100 or something um, I'm gonna keep it at 50 um, so then, yep, that's fine. In fact, you know what? May as well. Uh, no. In fact, yeah. So, 
Uh, now that you've done that, um, you want to come down and tick smoke high resolution, leave that all the same. Uh, oh yeah, with the divisions, don't set that to 99999 or something ridiculous because, uh, um, you know, it's going to take up tons of computer processing power, probably going to crash your computer. And with this, don't go anything above 4 um, because, as I say, it will crash your computer. So, we're going to leave that how it is, that's absolutely fine. Um, so, yeah, now all you have to do is go to smoke cache. Uh, or cache, as some people call it for some reason, and oh yeah, we need to save this first. So if we go to file, save as, uh, make um, a thing on the desktop. I'm gonna call it um, smoke. Whoa, what there? I'm gonna call it smoke tutorial. I have to find it. There it is. Just save it, and now uh, our smoke cache thing has popped up. Uh, choose the frames you want. I'm going to make this a 100 frame animation to keep things short. So make sure that these are matching up with these. Um, and then it should be fine. And that's it. So uh, if we click Bake All Dynamics, I'm not going to yet because it takes up tons of my graphics card, just like recording. So it's sort of have some big clash. Uh, but basically, it will. Um, how to put it? Uh, you know when a YouTube video is buffering? Well, yeah, it's pretty much like that. It buffers it, and then when you play it, it won't be all laggy and horrible. It'll be running nice and smoothly. So it's basically that. So I'm going to click it, and I'm going to pause. In fact, I'm going to actually come out full screen for now. Yeah, I'm going to pause as soon as I click it, and I'll be back in, well, for you, now, really. So let's go. Okay, so, um... Let's just check. Yeah, you can hear me good. Right, so, uh, it's baked and I played it a bit. And the first thing I noticed is it's not really very strong. Usually when we render smoke, it's a, quite a, uh, a strong, thick smoke when you see it. But this one isn't. So that means I'm going to do a little bit of changing with the materials. Uh, so on that subject, if we were to render this now, uh, you would just be rendering a cube. Uh, that's the domain object. So. If you want to get rid of that, you want to go to the materials on the cube, set it to volume so that we've got the smoke, and then set the density to zero. Now, the reason why you have to do this is because otherwise you're keeping the density on the cube, but when we do some stuff with textures, it will make it appear on the smoke and it will look all lovely. Um, but one thing we're going to do is if we set the density scale to six, that would be nice for a uh, nice thick smoke, and the scattering to about four or five, four just under 5, somewhere around no, 4.5, that'd be good. Um, just don't make it too big, because uh, otherwise it'll look kind of stupid. Uh, so we're going to have 6 and 4.5. Uh, no need to worry about any of this stuff for the moment. In the textures, uh, we're going to create a new texture. We don't want this one, and we want to call this smoke. Um, we're going to call, uh, make it um, voxel data, and make the domain object the cube. And you might notice here we've got a bit of some strange thing popping up, um, and that's all very lovely. So, uh, oh yeah, we need to, uh, under influence, uh, untick this and click on density, and then when we render this, again, um, oh, we can't really see it too well because it's a great background, I'll just quickly change that, hang on. Um, there we go. And now we can see it a lot better. Um, so, because I didn't really go crazy with the um, resolution of it, you can sort of see it's not very good. But uh, the annoying thing is that we can fix is uh, we've got these strange grainy things. I don't quite know what they are, except they're annoying. So if we go to materials, come down here and change the step size to about 0.1, that uh, will just smooth out the smoke a bit and it's uh, you know it really fixed it quite a lot so from here uh, you can look some other tutorials on how to make um, you know this work with explosions fire all that stuff um, so yeah but that's it for making a smoke simulation uh, so this has been my head king uh, smoke simulation to ooh, hang on open minecraft um, yeah, smoke, oh god, just did it again, I'm a retard, seriously. Right, so, 
uh, after all that, uh, this has been Whitehead King, uh, Smoke Simulation Tutorial. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, visit my website, follow me on Twitter, and uh, that's it. So, goodbye.